way to end it. <laughs> Come on, Tasia. Oh. In my stomach. Come on. I put my head on my pillow. When I see you. Anywho, what's poppin', y'all? It's your girl, Miss P. I hope you're doing fan. Fantastic. I am doing pretty good. Make sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow your girl on social media, Miss TP90. And on my Facebook fan page, it's Miss P TV. Turn those notifications on so you know whenever I'm doing another video. But uh, yeah, you've seen the title correctly. We're going to go ahead and get into this love and hip hop ATL. Oh my goodness. This episode was like a, what the hell? We're just gonna go on and get into it. Make sure you comment down below. I'm gonna bring back the shout outs in my next one. So get it popping down below. So if you commented last week, don't worry, I still got you. Just make sure you get it popping in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, damn it, I could have made that light. I could have, but I'm talking to y'all. You know, I gotta focus, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the episode starts off with um, Tokyo going to get this fitness evaluation. And I thought that was pretty dope. You know, she going, checking the dude out. And the dude is like, yeah, so um, tell me what you want to do or whatever. And she's like, you know, tone, nothing too much. He was like, okay, um, I can help you out, you know, with some meal planning and stuff. And she's like, hold the phone. What I got to change? He said, now you got to take cheese out your diet. I said, hold up, sir. You a black ass lie. Ain't no way. Now, granted, when I lost my weight, I took cheese out. I went cold turkey. I was determined. I wasn't going to have no extra crazy ass fat in my diet. So he's right about that. But, you know, just to hear that now, like, what the hell? You hit up cheese. Oh, my God, you might as well kill me. So he was like, wait, wait, wait. Now, take me in a day of the life of Tokyo okay what you be eating bro and she's like well you know at the studio i love to have my snacks he's like that's true you know you gotta have snacks what type are you talking about fruits veggies she said oh what the hell no i'm talking about hot cheetos hot fries gotta have my juice and he was like oh, okay like smoothies hell yeah capri signs are 100 percent juice i said you know what <laughs> this is what's the problem with society right now that's the problem. We telling everybody this is 100% juice, where in all actuality, it's concentrate. Like, that shit, that is not juice out there, people. It really isn't, even though, you know, Capri Suns aren't like how they used to be. I grew up in the Capri Sun hug juice realm, okay? Y'all remember Juicy Juice? The good Juicy Juice, not this whatever this is, Jungle Juice, back in the day. You remember that? You remember when they had the bag milk? I don't know if they still have that in schools, but you had to make sure that straw was just right so you could puncture that milk i don't like milk but every once and again i would get me a chocolate milk and it had to be cold but i'm just saying stuff isn't like it used to be so back in the day whoa you ran that red light sir but back in the day juice you would think this was 100 percent juice where now i'm like capri suns are not how they used to be honey capri Sun, i don't know what the hell this stuff is a lot of people out here be thinking that they drinking juice and hot fries are great for them and cheetos are amazing and yes, they are at the time that you're eating them. But baby, over time, if you're not exercising, if you're not eating right at least 80% of the time and having some type of physical activity throughout your day, honey, those cheese fries gonna be all over you. And he was even telling her like, oh my God, you're only 24. And she was like, yeah, but I don't have no high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes. I don't have none of that crazy stuff that people are talking about. And he's like, well, sweetie, you live long enough and you just might have it. And that's another thing with Tokyo that really breaks my heart and not just Tokyo anybody you don't know what you're gonna have until you have it and there's a lot of things that we can prevent just by eating better and doing better and being active and just doing things differently so I'm glad that she got the assessment but hopefully you know she really goes through with being a lot healthier it's easy for people to say you need to lose weight you need to do this you need to do that and they ain't never stepped they foot in no gym ain't ain't not nah fruit or vegetable it's easy to do that but if you haven't done the work I mean that's my only thing I always ask people like where your before picture at I need to see where you came from and then I can go oh, okay you can tell me and that's my main thing with anybody. Like, you can't tell me 
to do something if you haven't done it yourself. And that's really important to me. So I see where Tokyo is coming from. She can do it. I really see it that she wants to do it, but she just doesn't know where to start. And that's okay too. But um, yeah, the first step is just admitting that you need to change. So yeah, um, let's move on to Shay Mack. Shay Mack got a man. Shantae got a man at home, okay? And uh, she got a baby. I said, okay. The baby looked just like she... She spit her out. Mm, oh, Lord. She spit her out, okay? And she got a man's, what is his name? Maid man? Mad man? I, I don't know. Bruh man? We're going to call him bruh man. But anywho, he has a beautiful set of teeth. And he's a rapper. And um, I've, I've never heard of him. But either way, um, it's his birthday. And she's like, we got cupcakes. And we're just going to have fun. And he's like, hold up. Um, I got to finish the production on this video. And plus, you know, my dudes, they at Magic City. You know what I'm saying? And I'm doing this for us, though. You know what I mean? But I'll be back by like 1, 2, about 7 in the morning. But I love you. I love y'all. She like, okay, I mean, this is for us. And he's like, that's right. I love you. I love you. And I was looking like, mm. I think it's great, you know, to support your significant other with whatever they might want to do. But I feel like it's very important that you don't put your dreams aside because it can get really murky. And also, time moves so fast that you're like, I'm just going to take a year off. A year will turn into 18, okay? The baby will be 18 years old. You're going to be sitting around DJing for the nursing homes across the country. As long as they have, like, a communication and they understand and she voices how she feels, I think a relationship, a relationship, a relationship can really work like that. Lord, Spice, honey, we had to give Spice some ice for the last couple episodes, honey, because she had me shook on the first two episodes. Either way, she goes to see um, Jock so that she can talk about, you know, black hypocrisy and what she wants to do moving forward. And Jock is like, okay, I'm here for the movement. What we gonna talk about? And he's like, hold the hell up. You going Sammy Sosa? What the hell? You sure? And she's like, yeah, like, there's no other way I can do this. And I did agree with Jock in the instance, like, yo, I so agree with the movement, what you want to do. I think that's really, really important for you to move forward on something that you really, really believe in. That's very important. But at the same time, man, make sure you know exactly what comes with this. Because you can't just switch one day and switch back like everything is cool. You can't do that. Uh-oh, the fire department, the fire truck. And she basically told Jack, like, yo, in Jamaica, bleaching is praised. Like, the lighter you are, the better you are. The cultural differences, there, it's a difference with it. So who am I to judge and be like, oh, my God, you shouldn't do that? Not say, I still don't agree with her bleaching her skin. Like, absolutely not. I do not agree with that at all. But I don't live in her body I don't know what she goes through every day and just like on my first review that I did and I said please let's talk about our black experience let's talk about this down below and there were people that argued me down it was like Miss P you cannot tell me at the end of the day girl you are light skin and blah blah baby I'm not gonna argue with you about that we're not going to argue about our personal experiences just like later in the show when she was telling Mimi about her black experience you can't tell somebody about their experience and that's the thing you can't assume somebody's experience all I can go off of is what Spice says and what her experience is but I can't turn that inward and say well the way I feel and you should that's not fair either so I can totally understand where she's coming from. Do I have to agree with it? Absolutely not. I can appreciate Jock for saying the same thing. Like, yo, I like the movement. Let's do it. But as far as the old bleacher thing, make sure you know what you're doing, baby. Because you can't come back from that. And I agreed. So the fellas get together, a.k.a. Scrappy, Jock, and um, flathead ass Kurt. Jock is basically saying he really want to say that Kendra is his main squeeze. And it's really going down. I said, oh my God. Like, really all of them are like are you sure but the same thing this whole time he has not said that this is my lady my baby cakes my fruit loop my honey bun he ain't said nothing so everybody's like yo girl so jock that's the only thing lately because lately in these last couple of seasons i've been enjoying jock that's the only thing with him i need him to be a little bit more honest in his older age thank you he talking about his relationship with kendra did overlap when he was with carly even flathead ass Kirk was like, bro, you need to keep it a thousand. I was liking for Kirk to say that. Wow, sir. 
wow. I don't know where the whole I'll smash a chick light or dark came from. I jumped, I think I went to the bathroom and came back and I was like, what the hell are they talk about? Like, I ain't even listen to that. I, mm -mm, it just sounded real ignorant. So I just moved it on to the next thing. It's time for the workout group to meet up again. Um, AKA Tokyo, um, Chicana. Uh, and can I just say I love Chicago Joe? I can't stand her, but I love her. I can't stand her in the fact that I'd be laughing the whole time if I was around Chicago. But I love Chicago. I think she's dope. She had some realism to love a hip hop ATL. You can't say that she was fake on the show. Like, are we letting everybody in? Wow, we're all gonna miss the light. Oh my god. So basically Tokyo comes through and she like, look, um, Sierra's there, Tokyo's there, Shekinah and Shay Mac. So Tokyo was like, I ain't coming to the workout section. I'ma meet them at the juice bar, the smoothest section. So she meets up with them, they talking or whatever, and um basically it's like real awkward. And that's something I love about Tokyo. She was like, uh, first of all, I wanna talk to Sierra and I forgot how she jumped into it, but it was really like, um, yeah, we're not cool, so let's talk about it. Then I'm about like she kinda what I miss me. I loved it and then the breakdown happened. They basically did a whole replay of what had happened was. So basically if y'all missed it Sierra came over to a house. Sierra didn't like that Tokyo was eating fried chicken and pasta. Tokyo was like, well, that was my meal. That's what I had chose. Sierra was like, but she kicked me out of her house just for having an opinion and throwing out her food. I was like, uh, I'd have kicked your ass out too if you threw my food out, boo boo. You know how much food is? You know how high food, good food is? Tokyo was like, look, I don't need your help to lose weight especially if you've been under the knife a few times i don't need your help if you haven't done it yourself shekinah was in her confessional like look i've been cut up a couple times i done got some lipo i got this pulled out and that pulled out but look at me now shit i need some help whatever Sierra was like you know what i don't care that she kicked me out i've been kicked out of better places bitch better places and then tokyo got mad over that and then really that was it and i was like Oh. Shay Mac and bruh man meet up and she basically tells him, look, I want a DJ. And he like, well, go DJ. And she like, oh, okay. And that's basically the scene. I was like, that's right. Good job, bruh man. I like you already. You supportive. You like, we're going to figure this thing out and we'll see if it really happens. But I liked it. Ugh, flathead ass Kurt goes to see Jasmine's mama and grandma. And I was like, that's their mama and grandma? Lord have mercy. How old is she? These some I'm telling y'all black don't crack. It really does not. I was like her mama literally looks younger than Jasmine. It's crazy. So he thinks that he's really just gonna talk to Jasmine's mama and grandma. I'm like, do you not know the power of women? We will cook here comes Jasmine Kirk talking about you party too much I remember that time you called and you were like I gotta go party in LA so can you um watch the baby and she's like um how many birthdays have you missed how many holidays have you missed what were you doing sir you didn't even think this baby was yours should I finish and he was like all I'm saying is you need to be around him more it's about the baby also why he's still wearing pull-ups um he's two he doesn't really know what to do with his instrument just yet. I'm, <laughs> I'm so confused. What the hell does a pull up have to do with you being with your son? That's what I'm a little disturbed about. I'm sitting here like, huh? Even the mama and the grandma were like, um, who's been in your ear? Like, why are you just now talking about this? I agree with Jasmine, her mama, and her grandma. Communication across the board. Y'all need to communicate a lot more. At the end of the day, it's not about Jasmine partying or anything like that, Rashida, nobody. It's about Cannon. It's about the baby at the end of the day. I mean, if you want him to be out of pull-ups, y'all need to talk about him coming up out of pull-ups. That is a communication. It's an overlap right here. Look at, this is where they at. I don't even understand, child. And the baby just as confused as they are. Mama D and CC meet up to have a peace treaty over lemon pepper wings, all flat, 
chops with ranch on the side and you know a good french fry honey and um basically i loved it cc was like look at here bitch i'm here to stay and all mama d can say was you know what you're right joe you, i ain't getting rid of you can i get a fanta please spice and mimi they come together they end up apologizing to each other mimi wants to take her to the sweet auburn district so that she can learn more about the black history there's plenty of stuff in atlanta i don't know about but i really did not know about a madam cj walker museum i ain't know about that the tour guide is showing them everything he gets to the hot comb and spice is like what the fuck is this so basically she had the hot comb so the girls could get blowouts back in the day and he was like no 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 it basically loosens the curl and she's like okay yeah so that they can look and appear to be white then it goes left actually it doesn't go left it's actually a pretty healthy debate and even the director was like look the social structure is really different in other countries it's very different it's not like it is here you could be an accountant mimi where she would have to have another path i was like oh my goodness vice was even like this is what i've been trying to say the whole time Mimi was still like, but you don't have to be right. I see where Spice is coming from, but at the same time, I agree with Mimi. I can understand, I can get the point. I can see this without you physically bleaching your skin. I get it. Mimi and Spice are gonna forever agree to disagree and it's the same thing for you 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 and you that are watching me and that's why I wanted to have the debate. That's why I wanted to talk about it down below because I think it's wonderful that we can talk about these things but at the same time i don't feel as though we have to bash other people just because they don't look like you you know and that's the thing and i'm glad that they're showcasing this on love and hip-hop i'm glad that they're talking about this because it's really really important and this is what people need to see on tv to show that hey this is real life it's still happening right now the ignorance can happen anywhere at any time it doesn't matter and i'm glad that they're showing this and even on social media like it happens everywhere even in the comments on YouTube videos just look up random stuff like it happens everywhere even in person it happens it happens so much but people don't really want to talk about it at the end of the day do I think Spice should bleach her skin or have changed her skin color to white for a statement no do I see where she's coming from and why she did it yes do I have to agree with why she did it absolutely not do I have to agree that she changed her skin color? I don't have to agree with that, but I can understand why she did it, but I don't have to agree with it. So it's really like a catch-22, a double-edged sword. And sometimes it's like that, especially with me. I totally can understand why people do certain things at times. Do I have to agree with it? Absolutely not, but I can see why they did it. On to something that I was like, this is so cute. Scrap the bam he got a brutal new family i did not know she was having a boy oh my god yes scrap is over the river and through the woods honey okay breeling what is cute little feet honey i love me a new baby child a new little fresh little baby he look like he smells so good like i just love being a little baby so congrats to them i think that's so cute congrats to any of you out there who have had a new baby you're pregnant you trying to get pregnant i just think that's great so um keep multiplying and you know do all of that stuff babies is i like it mimi is going to see rashida actually everybody is in their respective places and they're getting ready to watch spices going live session she is actually looks as though she's bleached her skin and she's doing kind of like i wouldn't say a press conference but kind of like an interview for her black hypocrisy for her black hypocrisy to say that 50 times fast for her black hypocrisy song and um she's really in it like she's doing this and everybody like what the hell i had the same face as shekinah when i saw on social media that she had stripped everything off of her social media and just posted that picture i was like hold the hell up who the hell is that what the hell i think that's how the episode ended because baby i fell asleep but i really think that that is how the episode ended this episode like i said was just like a earth down below in the comment section i would love to know what did you think of this episode let's talk about it down below like i said i'm bringing the shout outs back next week so get it popping down below thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you on the next video peace love and all that good stuff god bless bye